crafty friends how are you doing today welcome to my channel turquoise dreaming this is sherry and i'm here to do a flip through of this vintage journal today this cover might be an antique i don't know i all, all i brought home from the thrift store was the front cover on this one and then i had to make the back cover so i got a little envelope of goodies here so i'll show you that in a second but uh yeah this is how it turned out i went ahead and finished it I did a couple videos where I was working on it, and um, so it's this cover, this old worn cover. I just love the uh, wear on it and the kind of like grunge. I'm going to call it wear, though. It's not really a grungy journal. It's just an old worn cover, and we put these clusters on together, these vintage lace and buttons, and the spine with two signatures with this pretty upholstery-type fabric. Everything pretty much is from the thrift store, except for, you know, the new things like a notebook rings and some scrapbook paper. Actually, well, yeah, the scrapbook paper was new. I got it from the Tim Holtz I got at a Tuesday morning. But this is the tassel that I've made to uh, add to the spine here. It's got some lots of different things in it. Uh, some of this glittery brown eyelash trim with really long eyelashes. It's funny how some of the eyelash trims have short eyelashes and some of them have long eyelashes and then we got some lace and some like chenille yarn in here just all kinds of textures and pretty pieces and then the back i um, had to make a new back like i said i only brought home the front cover so this is um, some scrapbook paper which i showed you in the process videos that i put on this side and you can see my uh, before we go inside i want to show you i've got some paper clips here holding some goodies in and here's the side I've got a uh, let me let me open it up a little bit here so this is how it opens with the elastic with some beads on it here and uh, that is adjustable if you want to undo the no, no, um, knot it's just a double double knot if it, you needed it looser or tighter uh, you could you could take that knot out and tie it as you wish so let's just get inside so inside the cover, front and back, I have the same as on the back. Whoops. I guess I didn't put that back in there. Anyway, the same, as you can see, that same scrapbook paper. It's cardstock, so you know I feel like cardstock makes it nice and sturdy uh, instead of just paper. If uh, at all possible, I like to use cardstock on the inside of the covers if I'm recovering the covers. So here we put this in together. It was a antique postcard, I, I believe. It didn't have a date on it, but it was a little tattered, and we cut the tattered part off. And I had back, I had done a covered the back, um, and so it was it, it's all right, it was already you know sturdy from me putting another layer on the back. So then I decided to make it into a pocket. I added these little Tim Holtz paper dolls here. I thought they were so cute, and they fit on there so nice. They just look like they belong there and uh, so in this pocket here I put a little this is the fabric from the spine and here I put a little reinforcement of the same fabric over where I put the button just because this cover I really think it's an antique possibly and I just want to make sure it was strong right there where I put that through so that's just some extra reinforcement there and then in that pocket I have this uh, drilling card that I made out of a 1909 receipt here so you can see it's backed with cardstock or file folder and then this is a little label I made out of some scraps that were from this paper right here it was a little, I had a little, couple little scraps and made some tags put a label on there and this pretty ribbon here it's like a I'm going to describe it as cranberry but it's actually burgundy I guess but it, I sometimes I think they call that cranberry. <laughs> so each cup, each signature, each of the two signatures is covered with Tim Holtz paper. So there's a piece of it there. I just went so good with the colors and everything. I love that pattern. It looks very pretty. And then here we have a pocket. So I put most of the goodies in here, but I do have an envelope with a few goodies in it too. So this is a recipe card that I had decorated. I had this in my stash. So it's got writing space on the front and back. And then uh, this is a an envelope. It's an extra envelope. Just you can do whatever you want with it. Just in that little envelope that I had hanging around my craft room and a little file folder. 
you can use this as a journaling space if you like or make it into a pocket or whatever you want to do and then here this little pocket we put in and it's a coin decorated coin envelope that we made into a pocket and in there we have I have this uh, tag that I have had in my stash for a while made it a while ago uh, it's kind of a scrapbook paper cardstock with a label that I had added in this is actually a sticker that I added there too very I love the colors on that this is paid as a math from a vintage math book here's where we attach the uh, coin envelope this is from a work basket magazine with one of my uh, sewn together you know I put three strips together and I sew them down the middle so that is a little page edge decoration and when I put them down I said you know when we were gluing these down together we put them in it together in a video and I said it's actually also practical because it protects the edge of the paper if it's delicate now this work basket I think is plenty strong enough but if you do have delicate paper and you want to make sure you know through handling it and turning pages that it doesn't tear or something this would be a great addition to the edge to make sure it's a little, it has a little bit of, of protection so this is coffee dyed pink lined paper and I have the da a dangle here and it almost looks like an angel let me show you see if I can hold this up and show it to you real close because when I picked it up I thought oh I didn't know I made angels but it's just it's actually a butterfly so it could be either one either I think it could be whatever you want it to be an angel or there's the, the middle bead there is a butterfly so <laughs> it can be either one but I have clipped on there a uh, old it's a I didn't make this I got it at a thrift store and it's a little envelope Here's the little envelope it came with, and it opens like that at the top. And then this little card was with it, and it's like a little pressed flower with something behind it. I don't know, some kind of backing, and it has this little paper inside. And it's just a cute little fancy little thing, little card, I think. <laughs> and so I thought someone would enjoy that, so that is in there. Clipped right onto this page. I don't know how old it is, but I did get it at a thrift store. And then, oh, here I kind of clipped two pages together. This is the Chinese paper that I put in the last couple of journals. Very pretty. Coffee dye paper. And we put these tabs on together where I had a couple of pieces of the upholstery from the spine left and made them into tabs. And then this is another work basket uh, page. Coffee dye paper here. I have clipped right here. This is a, a tiny one of those. It's not a Tim Holtz, but it's like a Tim Holtz tiny paper clip. And uh, this is a vocabulary card here. This is a math. I believe this is a math book. It's either math or in English, but I think this was from the math, the old math books. One of the old, the many, one of the many old math books that I have. And then this one I think is from the English, but I'm not sure. I've kind of taken the pages out, and I just have stacks of pages that I uh, can ex you know use in my journal so but anyway very vintage this is all natural uh, you know natural wear here this color and then in the middle this is also a Tim Holtz six by six piece of cardstock so that's in the middle it's double all the Tim Holtz in here is double sided and then there's uh, two buttons here in the middle on these strings and so the back half of this first signature these pages I put back together as they were single pages and I put them together with washi tape on both sides to make sure they're nice and sturdy and would hold into the signature another English page this is a recipe card which uh, I put on the uh, clipped on this this coffee dye paper and there's a little piece of uh, this is a doily sticker that I put down here in the corner to decorate that page. And then here, do I have this? I have two pages clipped together again. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes, there we go. Make sure I don't mess anything up. Okay, and then here's a work basket page. And this is the envelope we put in together. It's a wrap around envelope pockets, two pockets on each side. So here in the back pocket have this writing space and we worked on this together where I had to make it a little shorter so it didn't stick to stick out the top of the journal I didn't want to get it have it sticking out the top and then have it get messed up because it's made the base is a very old book page 
And then inside the envelope, I have a little game or a couple little game uh, score sheets here. I uh, can't tell what game it's from. I don't remember. Huh, that's funny that I can't tell what game it. I know I, when I picked it up, I think I knew from the thrift store, I think I knew what game it was from. But I didn't get the game, though. I just got the score sheets. But I don't remember what game it was. But anyway, super cute. Little game sheets, score sheets. And then on this side, this pocket back here has another one of these tags that I made from the scraps. And I added a little label down here. So you can further decorate this. And of course, there's journaling space on the back. Uh, this envelope, if you didn't see that video, is coffee dyed. And I decorated it with fussy cut flowers from wallpaper. And then inside I have, this was uh, some of the paper that I showed you that I was using, that 8x8. Uh, scrapbook paper pad I cut one piece up into journaling cards so it was all like ledger uh, you know the patterns were all like ledger paper and this is the first one in there and I I wanted to try cutting one up into something and I decided to make uh, a, you know like I have a lot of tags so I wanted to go ahead and make something different so I made journaling cards this fits right behind this little piece here and then it fits right down in there this part of the envelope that sticks out right here. Okay, and then this is the bookmark that I showed you. I did put a little, some of that cranberry ribbon up here on top. And uh, it's from an old book, Spine. I uh, took the spine and backed it with some craft colored cord cardstock. And it actually has a little bit of red hearts on it that I thought matched this side too. So that's just sitting in there as a bookmark. Chinese paper, and this is uh, two copies of the front white and the yellow copy of guest papery guest check, and that's clipped on this coffee dyed. I keep putting two pages together, don't I? Uh, coffee dyed pink lined paper, work basket, and here's a belly band made out of the uh, piece of that upholstery fabric from the spine that had the backing on it. I like to make belly bands out of that because it's a nice sturdy belly band. You know, you've got that thickness or that backing that makes it nice and sturdy. It's sewn on and I've been putting some of these in each of uh, the last couple of journals. Uh, it's a little envelope set that you can do what you want with but it comes with the cardstock craft colored envelope, some twine, a little flower, there's a little flower in there and this little um, note This is especially for you and I think there's a another little piece of cardstock inside uh, but I'm not, it's it's new. I have never opened this one. I've used some of them in my journals and decorated and done things with them myself. Like I will glue it down and then leave it so somebody could open it up and have a secret or a private, you know, kind of little hiding spot. So you can do whatever you want with that. I think that I just thought somebody would like to have fun with that. The last pocket here in this first signature, I have a page from an orchid, a vintage orchid book. So I thought that would be fun for someone in a nice and pretty page, but you know, old book page. This is one of my book page tags that I've made, backed with piano roll paper. You know, it's uh, the basis of book pages, and this is another piece of that ledger scrapbook paper. There, so that is in that pocket. Second signature, Tim Holtz paper here. In this pocket, I have a tag made from scraps. This is some of that 1909 receipt paper and then some vintage music. Uh, this is a little post-it note or uh, I call them post-it notes. So you just, they used, I don't know if they really make these anymore. I'm sure they do make some sort of something like this, but I love the old vintage ones. And you just wrote your note in there, your letter, whatever, and fold it up and it comes with seals, usually a little sticker you put right there. And then you put a stamp on it and mail it to whoever you're going to send your note to. And I thought that was so pretty. kind of matches the colors in here, too, with little orange flowers there. So that is in there. This is math book paper. I don't think I mentioned it in the first one, but there's a piece of this in the first one. It's a math book that is really big um, for a math book, I thought. And it's kind of almost landscape, or is landscape, so it's kind of wider than it is tall. So really great for uh, journal pages. Uh, this is from the work basket, and there's one of my sewn together strips. 
and then here's the other side of that. Um, this is a uh, coffee dyed composition book paper, and I put a little sticker. I had a piece of ephemera here floating around my desk, inspected by eight. <laughs> there, there's another piece in here too. I was like, I have to use these. I have to do something with these. So you can add to that. If you don't like it, you can cover it up. But I sometimes I just save little pieces of things, and then I try to put them in my journal. So you know, it's something different and unique, and I, I think they're cool. So this was from the back work basket, the little like order form envelope. So this is one side of it here that I showed you before. It's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? And then here's the second tab made out of the upholstery fabric. And this is from a vintage uh, phone book. And then that composition book paper with a fold out. And we added this scrap here during a video as a, like a tab and a decoration. The Chinese paper. We added this envelope together, and inside I put, uh, this is one of the envelope journaling cards that we made. So this is an envelope. You can use it however you wish. You can write on it. You can uh, cut, like, a slit, you know, the top little sliver off here or sliver off here. Make a pocket inside or just use the whole thing as a nice sturdy, um, you know, tuck spot somewhere. It's just for you to use as you wish. You can decorate it further. Just whatever you could open it up really you could actually cut here here and here a little sliver off and open it up and write on the inside like a card so lots of options with something like that i think and this is a coffee dyed envelope that i had decorated a little bit so this is you know wide open for further decorating on this side i, go, I did go ahead and cut up another scrap that i had and made some little pockets here i was trying to talk myself out of that but i couldn't help myself so I just um, cut that little scrap up into three pockets here. Oh, they're so cute. I like doing doing that. So, and then I put some little price tags in here. And you can add little strings or do whatever you want with those. But those are just some fun little price tags. There's a white one, a yellow one, and a green one here. So, <laughs> just a fun little page. And you can further decorate those and things. Um, you know, I don't like to just decorate up the whole journal. I believe that whoever gets... The journal would like to do that so I just uh, kind of make the base for you and then when whoever gets it can do what they want uh, this is an old English or math book page two uh, coffee dye paper here this is the center of this signature with Tim Holtz six by six right here and you see the two sides and then I have these buttons here on the strings and then uh, yeah, that math book page or English, whatever it is. Oh, it just say English right there. So maybe it was an English book page. And then coffee dye paper here. This is just a piece of paper that is kind of just a little note paper with a graph paper design on both sides. So you can use that for making a writing spot somewhere or writing on it and just tucking it into an envelope or a, a you know, pocket. The Chinese paper. The... Um, Composition book, coffee dyed composition book paper with the tab, the phone book with a little one of my strips there, and this is the other side of that work basket order form envelope. So you've got the envelope here, and I put one of my little yearbook cards <laughs> in here. I've pictured this being a writing spot, and then you've got this guy from my from the I believe it was a 1940s yearbook that I have that I've been using for lately for those <laughs> so uh, yeah th this flips out here too so you can do something with that if you want or just enjoy the old envelope this is the work basket right there and you've already seen these papers pretty much work basket this I have clipped on here is a piece of planner paper that you can do what you want with write on it cut it up make tags whatever but that's them from the math book and this is the last page with this pocket here. I have this, another one of my uh, envelopes that I made into journaling cards. So this is can be a great base for whatever you want to do. We already talked about the other one. And that's a little bit bigger one. The other one was a little bit smaller. So you have two sizes there. Another one of these tags I made and put that label on. So ready for writing and decorating. And this is a little fortune. This is another. Oh, there's another. We missed one of my... I missed one of my pieces of ephemera, but this was another one I put in here. It's a little fortune 
from a fortune cookie that says, keep your dreams close to your heart, they're precious. I've got to find that other piece of ephemera though real quick. Let's see. It's a number. I have to show it to you. Hold on. Let's just flip back here. And then I'll show you the pocket in the back. It's at the bottom corner of a page. It's a number. <laughs> but I like numbers and that's why I kept it. Uh, so I have to show it to you. <laughs> we'll find it in a second. And you get to see the journal. <laughs> Quick flip through again. Uh, we saw inspected by eight. It must be in the first signature. Okay. If we don't find it, well, I'm going to give up after this um, second flip through, backward flip through here. But I really wanted to show you that. If I don't, oh, here it is. It's right here, number 23. <laughs> Silly, right? But it's just, you know, something unique and, you know, <laughs> you're not going to find it in any other journal. So anyway, here's the back pocket made out of one of those. 1909 receipts. It's, these are backed with cardstock and it's open on this side so things can be easily put in and out. And then in here I have just a couple pieces of pretty note paper that go along with this nicely. You can put, you know, add a, a writing spot somewhere if you would like or just whatever you want to do with those. There's two of those. And the other two pieces of the 8x8 paper. Since it was 8x8 um, eight eight, I, I was able to cut up it cut it up into basically four by four pieces and make little journaling cards out of those. So those are ready to decorate. I wanted to leave them for someone to decorate. I didn't want to take that fun away from someone. So that, those are ready to go. And in the little goodie pack, I just have some scraps. I'll show you. And I, I've been, uh, I wanted to, well, I, every time I go through my ephemera, I found all these envelopes that I've made. And so I wanted to use one so this is a curious page from a curious george book <laughs> Vint, very vintage one uh, so i had made a, an envelope out of that and in here is just a few things like i said i've tried to put most of everything inside the journal but i have some coffee dye tickets and these are kind of things i thought of after i finished the journal i was like well i'm just going to put them in a goodie pack uh, for someone but anyway they're a little recipe card coffee dyed receipt and a scrap. This was the last scrap. This was the only one I didn't use. This little tiny scrap of scrapbook paper is the Tim Holtz paper. Of course, I'm not going to throw it out, right? I figured someone would like that. And then this is a piece, a good size piece of the upholstery fabric. So that is in there to cut up and make clusters or pockets or whatever you want. Trim some, make some tabs or some trim for the sign of the page, but that will come along with it. And uh, so, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking, and comment commenting, that would be awesome. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.